All right, speaking of temperature swings, <laughs> what have we got going on? <laughs> a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot. I actually went to the Winter, uh, Winter Bright Fest this evening and it was a lot of people out. They were having a yeah. great time, mm -hmm. but it was very cold. We're yeah. all huddled together like penguins out there on the West Flats. All right, let's talk about the national temperatures right now, Northeast Ohio. Across the nation, we're dealing with winter-like weather north, spring-like weather down south. 20s, teens, 30s, and 40s from the northern border all the way down through the Lone Star State in that northern panhandle there. You can see nearly Dallas already in the 40s. New Orleans, 20 degrees warmer at about 69 degrees. So there's a lot of things happening here, but what we're dealing with right now is below average temperatures. We got that north breeze across the area right now, that trough extending south across the region, but there's good news. Things start to get a little bit better across northeast Ohio over the next 24 to 36 hours, but it comes at a price as well. So you can see here the National Design Mart forecast at national uh, satellite and radar images showing most of the nation again below average in terms of surface temperatures out west right now. They've been getting an onslaught of flooding rains out here as well as inches of snow and even in the upper elevations in some of those mountaintops there, they've got feet of snow as well. So this is not something that they're normally dealing with, but that trough is extending all the way south and then carrying over to the east of the Mississippi region as well. We're bone dry and also stable in the Midwest, the Ohio River Valley, even Northern Plains. But again, that is going to be changing all because of what's happening here out west. So this is the zone of development that is really starting to going to gain energy over the next 24 hours. A sunny Sunday yielding towards some afternoon and evening cloud cover. We'll have a breezy yet rainy Monday to kickstart our week with up and down temperatures expected yet again. So let's get after it here. In terms of rainfall, this is a North American model. This is going to take us through Monday night, easily getting at least three quarters of an inch of rainfall for the vast majority of Northeast Ohio, some of which would, could get a little bit closer to an inch of rainfall by the time it's all said and done. So let's move, move the clock forward here. Your National Design Mart forecast, 20s and even 30s expected overnight tonight. More sunshine to kickstart your Sunday, the first half of the day. Absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. In the evening hours, temperatures are going to be climbing as well as cloud cover is going to be moving back in. So we got things happening early Monday morning. That Monday morning commute is going to be a little bit treacherous for some people. Mid to late morning hours, temperatures are going to be warming slightly above the freezing mark around high noon. We could get a little bit of a change over from rain mix over to snow and eventually all rain heading towards the afternoon. And again, some of this could be really heavy at some times and maybe even a clap of thunder. It is not until late Monday afternoon into the evening hours that things really start to turn down here. We get that energy out Monday night again, not that bad, but Tuesday morning again, temperatures are going to be slightly warmer. So we start to warm things up here on Tuesday day, but a little bit cooler in the daytime hours. Thereafter, though, another chance of rain is going to be moving in on Wednesday. That's going to take us through the latter half of the week. But as we package it up for you tonight, quiet, stable, few clouds moving through 20s yielding towards 30s. The breakfast, lunch and dinner 20s, 30s, 40s in the afternoon back into the 30s we go by the time we get to dinner time for you tomorrow night. So all in all, your Sunday again, not bad. Upper 40s to low 50s with mild temperatures. Now let's look a little bit further than that. Looking ahead here in that big picture, there's the energy coming out of the Four Corners region, gaining lots of energy as it moves through the Central Plains. This could be heavy. The panhandle of Texas could get some severe thunderstorms and maybe even a couple isolated tornadoes. Not a major threat for us. It's just going to be mainly all rain for us through Monday evening hours. Tuesday, I think we're going to have a few drip drops for early Tuesday. Then things dry out. Wednesday, and then I think we're OK. Southerly flow comes back in, ridge builds back in, temperatures warm. I think some of it could be getting into the 60s and perhaps even some late rain on Wednesday heading in towards Thursday. Then another deep trough moves back in by the end of the week. So yeah, we're getting really cold by the end of the week next week, but we're going to be up and down here in your national desire, or excuse me, your union home mortgage 10 day outlook. Notice temperatures back into the 30s. We go sun, few clouds, mid 40s, maybe even some 50s moving back in there as well.